Hey everyone and welcome to this week's Super Haul Sunday. So if you've never seen my face before, I'm Misha Grimes and every Sunday I do a Super Haul Sunday and I mean that's pretty self-explanatory what it is. And today's Super Haul Sunday is pretty little thing. Now you may notice all the colour going on and that is because spring is coming. I know it's hard to think that when we've literally been like knee deep in snow but you know it's coming and I'm here to remind you that. Don't really know how to feel about this hair. I never do my hair straight because I always just feel really like funny with it but let me know what you think about the straight hair. Anyway Moving onwards, yes, so this is a Pretty Little Thing haul. Now, as we can see, I picked up quite a few pieces from Pretty Little Thing, and that's because, well, I'm digging all the colour. This blouse is actually Pretty Little Thing, and this video is really kindly sponsored by Pretty Little Thing, which blows my mind because little old me is working with Pretty Little Thing. What's going on? Anyway, so yes, thank you so much to the Pretty Little Thing team. And saying Pretty Little Thing really quickly, like a million times over, is actually quite difficult. It's one of those, um, what is it, tongue twisters, like Peter Piper picked a, Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. I'm a genius. Anyway, so I've kind of done this in like outfits, but then some aren't outfits, some kind of lying. But I'm just going to get on with it, show you what I got. Yes, this is one of the items. I'll also be trying everything on because I won't do a try on. I won't do a haul without doing a try on because you guys need to see what this looks like. And it looks mighty fine if I may say so myself. So here is a closer little look at the shirt. It's just so silky and gorgeous. This is just me like rolling it up and like tying up in a little knot, but you can literally wear it in like a million and one different ways. And it's so silky to touch, I love it. So just to explain why I'm not like unpackaging it from the bags, it arrived, I was ill, I needed something to pick me up and get me excited, so I undid all of it. But that actually works out for the better because now I know what goes with what, and I can like show you guys it in the right order rather than being like all over the place. So yes. First things first on the rillet. I'm really not cool enough to do that, I know. Tell me about it. So I've got this little duo. Now these items are separately bought, but I've paired them together. And it's kind of hard to miss this jacket. Like I am digging it. It's like a lavender velvet. Lavender lilac, I'm not even sure. But me and mum are obsessed with lavender at the moment. I don't know what it is, lavender lilac, whatever you want to call it, I'm loving that colour. I think it's so on trend and it's such a beautiful colour and I actually think it looks quite nice with my blonde hair but I feel like it would also look nice with brunettes and ginger hair and really really dark hair and really really like it'd look nice with everyone. Anyway yes, so this is like a puffer jacket. Now it's like a cropped shape which I really like because of the bottoms I plan on wearing it with and um, I mean just what's not to love it looks so expensive as well like, I don't know if you guys can see the sheen in this fabric like wowzers so this is the jacket and bottoms wise obviously I will wear a top with it when I try it on now we all know that wearing pajamas as actual clothing is like the best invention of life. So I have these lilac lavender joggers and these are just like a high-waisted scrunchy waist, scrunchy ankle, cotton like baggy joggers and I mean it's like the most fashionable yet comfortable duo and I know people may think I look like an idiot walking around like a lavender cloud but I don't even care because I love this look. I think it looks so classy. These joggers are so nice. I really want to pick them up in some other colours because they're just really flattering and I really like them. I got them in a six because I don't want my joggers to be like so tight that they're like pinching my skin. You know, that's never a good look. So yes absolutely love this little duo. I'm going to be a lovely lavender cloud and I feel like I should put it back on the hanger because otherwise I'll ruin the aesthetic of the background. Is this not the best outfit you've ever seen on the planet? Like genuinely I've never been so comfy in my life. Pair this with a pair of hips. Pair this with a pair? I really am repeating myself today. Put a pair of heels with this and I feel like you could still be like quite dressy. Don't know if that looks silly but a girl can try. Just 
OMG, this coat is so warm, so cosy. It's like a tight fit, but it's not too tight that you can't move. Like, I could do the macarena in this if I really wanted to. Um, and then these joggers, just how nicely do they fit? And I don't like high-waisted, and I really like these. And they've got like a little bit of a baggy crotch, and then like a floof in the leg. Just lilac come at me i'm ready for you this season lila we are gonna be best friends and i cannot wait okay now next up we have a kind of jacket but not really jacket so perfect for when it gets an eensy weensy bit warmer but you could also layer it with the jacket and i mean this is just life like it looks like a scourer that you use to clean your kitchen but in the best way possible oh my gosh it actually matches my hairspray bottle like it's the exact same color which is brilliant and i mean what is not to love so it's like a bolero-y shaggy i don't even know kind of knitted thing like you can squish your fingers through feels a bit evil but who wouldn't love this and it's kind of in actually the same color as this blouse as well i'd call this like a chartreuse what are they calling it a lime. Mm, I suppose you could call that lime, but I think it's more of a lemon, I won't lie. But I'm not going to argue with them. It's all good, it's all good. And I mean, this is just so darn cute and what is not to love. And this isn't really a piece probably for everyone because it is quite extra, but they also do have it in black. So I feel like that could make it a little bit more wearable for the everyday person that doesn't want to go out looking like um, a scourer, but I do. Then to peem, peem? To team with that, I picked up this little skirt. Now, I am a lush, uh, uh, I'm a skirt wearer, but I'm not typically like a straight skirt wearer, apart from denim skirts. And this is a denim skirt, but then it isn't. So it's in a like sort of canvasy fabric. I don't know if you guys can see, but it's got like a texture to it. And then it's got rips like your normal denim would have. And it's in this beautiful sort of like ecra color. I'm really digging this color. I think it looks so classy. And team it with the limey, yellowy, electric, puffy thing. I just think this would look so chic. I love this skirt. It's really nice quality. It's a really nice fit. It's not too high waisted. I got it in a size six so that it would sit a little bit lower on me. I would suggest that if people don't suit high waisted things like me, I don't particularly suit things that are high waisted because I haven't got an hourglass body. I'm very straight. I get things in a size bigger and then they can sit lower. You get me? So yes, love this. It would obviously go with like literally every single thing in my wardrobe and it would look so cute with knee highs as well. Okay, is this not such a cool outfit? I genuinely look like a yellow funky yeti and I'm in love with it. So this is the skirt on, just like a really great fit, really nice quality, no holes where they shouldn't be. Although it's a light color, it's not see-through. And then, I mean, this jacket just speaks for itself. And it's so comfy and warm. I genuinely don't think you need to wear a coat if you wore this. Because although it's got like holes in it, it's so like shaggy and fluffy that I feel like a cloud and I love it. Oh my gosh, I think this outfit just looks so funky. Well done, Misha. Great styling there. Well done, well done. Next, we're moving on to a little bit more of a dressy piece and a piece that you would just see and be like, OMG, that's so Misha. So it is a pink play suit. And it's a pink play suit with a different. It's kind of like in a suit-esque style. Suit-esque pieces are so on trend at the moment. And literally, a lot of this haul is very suit-esque. Whoopsies. And the thing that makes this so different is not only is it an adorable little play suit with long sleeves, but this belt. Oh, if I could see, I'm trying to hook things up, but oh, okay. So this belt goes around your waist, and it generally looks like handcuffs slash massive hoop earrings slash it's a belt. You could even maybe wear it as a headband. Don't know. Maybe a necklace might be a bit big, but so you kind of it's like one of those. Do they call it like a sailor belt or something? I'm not even sure, but you tie it around your waist. You hook it around these, you cinch it in, and then you've got these like massive circle thingies, hoops, like cinching on your waist. And it just looks really cool. Like, I mean, the bigger the hoop, the bigger the 
fashionista, let's say. And to pair with that, I actually got the most incredible boots you have ever seen. So these are sock boots, but with a bit of an extra added bonus. Oh. So these are the exact same pink as the play suit and they are heeled sock boots in this gorgeous fuchsia pink but they also have this sort of sparkly embroidery on the back which it just sasses up this boot. Imagine these also paired with like a pair of jeans just like dressing up an outfit and I mean I need to go out somewhere so that I can wear this duo because this is so cute like this is so Misha. I think when people think of Misha they would think of this. Meh, meh, falling into my rail. Okay, so, you know when you just wanna look cool and you wanna look like you're a pink Barbie? I feel like a pink Barbie right now and I do feel quite cool, if I can say that. But how sassy is this play suit? The fit is so lovely. And like, although it's low cut, I know I have nothing to fall out but nothing is gonna fall out, like nothing's going sideways, like it's very secure, it fits me nicely there, no bum cheeks are hanging out, and I just think this belt is so cool. Teed with these boots, I'll get a closer look at them later. I mean, these are just life, like, I mean, they couldn't match better if I tried. I'm just, I'm loving being a Barbie. Thank you, pretty little thing, for making my dreams come true. And I'm the Barbie that is um, a YouTuber. That will be, <gasps> do you reckon they're gonna do that in the next Barbie? I don't even know if they sell Barbies anymore or make them, but do you reckon they're gonna have a YouTube Barbie? I don't mind uh, nominating myself to be the Barbie YouTuber. That's fine by me. Okay, Misha, shut up now. Next things next. Now, first of all, I obviously picked up this blouse. Now, this is like a silky-esque blouse is quite like oversized so you could yeah I've actually got it tied right now not that you guys can see I don't know if you guys can see that and then I kind of got it like slouchy trying to look cool off the shoulder vibe don't really pull it off but a girl can try and this is in the most beautiful chartreuse color I absolutely love it and these shirts look so expensive. You can wear them loose you can wear them tight you could tuck them in like there's a million different ways to wear them and they have them in genuinely every color under the sun. I really want to get my hands on the lavender one, the white one, the red one, the black one, the... there's like a maroon one, but I did get my hands on the orange one as well as this yellowy one. Oh, oh, oh. Now, is that not beautiful? Like, that is my dream eyeshadow color. Like, genuinely, I am in love with this colour. And you guys can kind of see the fit a bit more. So they're quite, like, a masculine fit. They're quite loose. But that means you can, like, scrunch them, tie them. You could even wear them open and wear, like, a little crop top underneath and wear them almost like a jacket. Like, these are so universal and they are such a good piece to have in your wardrobe. I got these in an extra small. And, I mean, just what's not to love? Look at the shirt. It's beautiful. And to pair with this orange one... I actually got these trousers. Now, I'm not a stripes person, but I am digging the stripes on Pretty Little Thing. So they are just these high-waisted, they're sort of like a maroon, electric blue, electric orange, and navy pant. And they're just like a wide leg trouser, really nice small little waistband, and then big baggy trousers, makes your waist a little bit smaller tuck in the orange shirt that's how the model wore it hoping I look like two percent as nice as her because she slayed life but I'm just stealing some outfit inspo from pretty little thing and also this little purple duo that's how the model wore it and that's why I got the inspo so yeah they do they do dress up the outfits in pretty little thing which a girl can appreciate because I mean one it does make you end up buying both items but at least you have an outfit and you know when you can wear it so beautiful trousers, love these, could also wear them with a blue shirt, could wear them with a blue blala, blala, brala, like these are so snazzy and they're like dressy but not too dressy. Well Kamisha, the businesswoman, at least that's what I like to think. I like to think you could turn up to a work office job in this if you just buttoned up a few of the shirts, but how classy and expensive does this little co look, like genuinely. And this is a look at how the shirt looks. I said look way too many times. 
tucked in so I still think that they work tucked in it's just a completely different vibe it's much more smart much less like cool and casual but more sophisticated and put together and then these trousers are just beautiful I love going out in trousers me and Chloe have this thing where we say if you go out in trousers you're like so comfortable you're so much more like relaxed because you're not worrying about like your legs being out and things falling out like trousers are the way forward people so I think these trousers are the way forward I think also if you team this with a bright blue, blue bralette underneath that would look so cute with like, the shirt open you know you do you boo okay you know what I was saying about all the stripes in the suit-esque pieces so this is like a shirt dress but um, it kind of looks like the Joker and I love it so it's this electric green stripey what is that black purple and orange or red i'm not even sure and it's basically just got like the world's biggest belt like genuinely this goes on and on and on and you just chuck on the shirt dress this is one of those like really easy go-to pieces where you just know it's gonna look nice and it's like you're i don't know what to wear so i'm gonna wear this and it's just like a normal shirt dress and you wrap around the waist and wrap it around obviously not around the hanger around your actual waist and you look snatched or at least you try and look snatched in my case so yeah just a really easy throw on piece really nice quality i love this pattern i said i'm not a stripey person but i'm digging these stripes do i look like the joker that is the question and if the answer is yes then i'm very pleased to take that answer this little shirt dress thingy with Bobby is just so cute and I think the colour and pattern is so original like you would really stand out in this team it with like some red knee highs and OMG imagine if you had green knee highs I'm sure they exist somewhere but it might be a bit too much with this dress but yeah the fit is brill I've wrapped this belt literally like six times so it's quite good because you can really cinch in your waist and then because it's a little bit more like baggy around my hips I feel like it gives me some shape um, and then we've got the kind of slit that I created by just not doing up all of the buttons and then you could obviously do it up all the way or you could have it a little bit more slouchy and show a bit of skin. So this is one of those pieces that I think would suit everybody, would suit every size. I think it's pretty like age range. Like, you could be younger and wear this and you could be a bit older and wear this. I'm sure my mum would happily wear this as would I. And yeah, I love it. Thank you pretty little thing shock there's another shirt dress and it's another one with a belt because yes so you could actually wear this one without a belt that one the belt is attached but this one the belt is loose so it's almost like a night shirt now i've really been digging sort of like nightwear as clothing wear don't think that's the technical term but we'll go with it so it's this beautiful red satin-esque shirt dress and it's got the black piping all around the edges all down the button it's even got the pocket exactly like you would expect a little like night shirt flannel thingy to have and it just looks so darn expensive tin this are black knee highs and you are good to go and then on the belt it's just basically got like a little buckle cinch everything in you're good to go easy breezy beautiful throw on piece that looks so expensive this one is pretty similar to the last shirt dress it's just like an easy throw on a really classy piece that would suit anyone as i said before and i do think this one looks particularly expensive because of this sort of pajama vibe and i think that is a great vibe to go with because you can go from wherever you are in your little silky pajama stroke dress thing it will be and then when you get home you can get straight in bed so double the goodness okay. now you guys may remember this if you're an og i feel weird saying that word but i might as well try and be cool if you're an og subscriber i hauled this in my pretty little thing olivia culpo collection video and i loved it but I got it in the four and it came up a little bit too small on me. And then I meant to get it in the six, but I just never got around to doing it. I think I was away at the time. Like, you know, you mean to do something. It never happens. But they still have a few pieces of the Olivia Corporal collection in stock online, which is so exciting because it was literally from like last summer. And I got the bodysuit that I loved in a size six. So I sized up. And this is just like a little mesh 
dobby bodysuit with this crocheting detail down the centre, these little floofy sleeves, a high neck, little black bralette underneath, some black pants, and oh my gosh, you are good to go. It's such an adorable piece, and you can make this casual, you can make this dressy, like, I mean, what's not to love? I completely forgot how in love I was with this bodysuit. OMG, the 6 fits so much better than the 4 did. As you can see, I've just teamed it with a black little bralette, a little strapless one, and it's done the trick. Then I've actually just popped on my pretty little thing, black palazzo trousers that I got for Christmas, and I think this is just such a classy, sassy outfit. And I feel like I've said classy with so many of these outfits, and these pieces were so reasonably priced, so I think it just proves that you don't have to shop designer to look designer. Also, I think, although I'm wearing like a see-through mesh thing, which wouldn't normally be my style, and you can actually see my bra, I don't think it looks trashy, because like everything else is covered. Obviously, if I was in tiny little booty shorts, it may look a little bit more hoochy, but I think because I've paired it with these pants, and my fringe keeps on getting sucked to these down eyelashes, um, it makes it look a lot more sophisticated and I love this look even more than I realised I did, so yay! Okay, the next piece is kind of a bit OTT and I feel like it could be my favourite but then I feel like I say that with every piece. So this is a red one shoulder ruffled jacquard frilled dress. I am absolutely in love with this dress, it looks so expensive and I'm pretty sure it was only like £60 and they always have discount codes on Pretty Little Thing, like always. So you could probably get this like 10, 15, 20% reduced. And it is beautiful. It genuinely like cinches you in and sucks you in so you can't breathe but that's what all good clothing does. Maybe I should size up but I don't want to because I like the look when it's too small. <laughs> You know what I mean. So yes, I'm just, oh my god, just look at it. Just look at it. If anyone has a wedding they're going to, or like a special event, buy this dress, because you will look like the sassy red emoji, and everything will be brilliant. And I mean, it's just beautiful. Such good quality as well, like it's so thick. OMG, have you ever seen anything so sassy and beautiful in your life. This dress is just like, honestly, I've never seen anything like it. It looks like something people in like Spain would wear. I feel like I need to be doing, I was gonna say a Spanish dance then, but I'd end up offending someone because I wouldn't get the correct term, so I won't do that. But just what beautiful, thick quality is this? Like, oh my gosh. You would think this is like a designer piece rather than off the high street, well, online high street. So, well done, pretty little thing for bringing out such an incredible dress. And I know they have other ones that are kind of similar in like black with different cuts and I might have to get my hands on those as well, just because this one's such a success. Okay, last little duo is another suit sort of co-ord. We can see I'm also into co-ords at the moment. So this is a little blazer. Now, I did get this in a UK 8, because I didn't have any smaller sizes in stock, but I really don't mind, because I quite like the oversized look. So it's like a little cropped oversized blazer that has a button at the center and you just do it up. You could wear this with no top underneath or you could put like a little crop top or you could put a little shirt. And then these are the matching trousers. Now it's in this beautiful camel color. And I mean, these trousers are just so sassy. Again, you could team each of these pieces with other items. Like you don't have to wear them solely with each other. But these are such a needed piece in my wardrobe. They've got a nice zip at the side. So you're not like struggling with like a hook and, oh, struggling with a hook and eye. They're really wide and big like palazzo trousers. So they look so classy and business-like. I genuinely think you could wear this to work as long as you wore a top underneath the blazer because otherwise you might be giving everyone a bit more than they bargained for on a Monday morning. Misha's getting all fancy schmancy up in here apart from my bra popping out but we'll ignore that. So this is the camel co-ord two-piece suit thingy that you buy in separates which is brilliant because if you have a bigger top half or a smaller top half you can size up, size down, you know what I mean but I just think this looks so cool. Obviously I've kind of got it where like my bra's popping out. It's a little bit more of like a sultry look, but you could wear this with a shirt and make this really like smart and business appropriate. But then you could be like, oh, 
let me just undo my blazer. Say you're wearing a cute little bralette and be like, party, party in my blazer. I just love this. I think it looks so cool. And the fit is just really like slouchy, but cool, but nice, but still smart. It's a win. So that is all my beautifully bright and colourful pieces I picked up from Pretty Little Thing. I hope you guys have enjoyed this haul. I absolutely love Pretty Little Thing. Like, honestly, what's not to love? And I can assure you there will be lots more Pretty Little Thing hauls coming over the coming months. I said coming all way too many times in that sentence. But yes, um, I will obviously link absolutely everything down below. Let me know what item was your favourite and what you're going to be picking up because I'm intrigued. And also let me know if you spot anything else on Pretty Little Thing that you want me to try out because I shall do so. Happily. I will happily play, what is it, like, t not testing mouse guinea pig that's the word okay anyway so i'm gonna wrap up this video i hope you guys have all had a fabulous sunday i hope the snow isn't so bad for you guys anymore i'm looking out the window right now and i can't really see any sign of snow because it seemed to come like all at once one night for me and then all like disappear it was really weird but i'm not complaining because i am off to london on monday so i need to get the train but yes, I hope you guys have all stayed safe and warm and just been watching loads of YouTube videos whilst you've been stuck inside and eating loads of food. Be it, I went to Sainsbury's the other day and they literally had no food in there. I assume they didn't get their delivery. But anyway, yes, let me know what you think of my straight locks. And I hope you enjoyed this video. So please give it a like and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you all very, very soon, hopefully, if you subscribe. Anyway, bye guys, lots of love. Bye!